before I take you on our little walk in today's topic, I'm adding in a little clip a few days later. Two days from when this video publishes will be October 1st. We'll be heading into quarter four of 2023. I have been on a momentum month for the entire month of September, working my magic, my goals magic, working towards building momentum for 20, for, for quarter four, for quarter four. Two days from today on Sunday, October 1st at 11 a.m., I invite you to join me live in a class and I will share with you what my quarter four goals are and what I did throughout the month of September to build momentum towards quarter four. I shared a little bit in the newsletter that went out earlier this week on Tuesday. So you can look at that to hear about one of the ways that I built momentum. There will be a link in the description box below this video where you can get more information and get signed up. But again, the live workshop is in two days. You will also have some takeaways so that you can exercise your goals muscles. I will help you to get a little bit more solid on your goal setting, what to look for, how many goals should you set, how do you hold yourself accountable so that you are successful. All of that in Sunday's workshop. I look forward to you joining me there. And now let's go into today's topic. It's a little windy today, but let's cover today's topic and start the video. Good morning. I just got back from a five mile run, or maybe I should say jog, considering I'm not a really fast runner. In fact, I'm not what I would call a runner. I just chose to do a five mile run to work on my zone cardio. So if you've done three week intense, my quarterly program to form healthy habits that you can sustain for a lifetime, you know that in three week intense, I encourage members to view exercise from three areas or three different, to, to view it from three different lenses. We have physical activity, we have cardio to strengthen our heart to be cardiovascularly fit, and then strength or resistance training. Today I chose to do a five mile run as my cardio to get myself up into the higher zones, to, to become more cardiovascularly fit, which is really essential and critical for health and longevity. Now, I don't know the last time I have ran five miles. I've done run walks, but that was what I chose today and I chose it before doing it. Now, was it easy for me? No. Did I want to do it? No. Did I have reasons not to do it? Yes. Um, do I have any parts of my body that are hurting right now that, that could, have, could have encouraged me to use that as an excuse? Yes, I'm just like you. Do I have anything troubling me that I could have used as an excuse to not do this cardio. Yes, I am no different than any of you. And I'm sharing this message because this is what happens to people is they believe something, if someone does something, 
it must be easy for them. Um, sometimes people will be like, oh, how can you do that? Well, we all can do whatever we put our mind to, right? It's really what's going on upstairs. If you stay up till 10 or 11 p.m. at night, I could say, oh my gosh, how do you do that? Like that is a superpower in my mind. <laughs> Staying up that late would be a superpower, just like you may view me going out to do a cardio and choosing to do a five mile run as a superpower. Doing this does not serve us. It, it doesn't serve us at all. People, you, you choose to do it or you don't. If you leave things for negotiation, if you are on the fence about doing something, chances are you are not going to want to do it. When I got up this morning and I knew that on my plan was to go outside on this Monday morning around 8.30, 9 a.m., do a five mile run in about 55 degree temperature, which is really ideal. And I looked at the weather yesterday so I could plan. I was dreading it. Do I want to do it? No. If we get our feelings involved, often we're going to let that be our excuse not to get something done. You have to remove your feelings from what you do. Like I said, is there anything troubling me currently that could be my reason not to do it? Well, the outsider is going to assume not, right? The outsider is going to assume that I got a great night's sleep. I have nothing, no, no physical pains on my body preventing me from doing a run or a or workout or exercise at all that everything is going great in my life. Everything is just perfect and that's why she got it done. But I don't have all those luxuries, therefore I'm not going to get the job done. This mindset is not serving. It is not serving at all. Stay in your lane, stay in your box, and decide what hard you're going to choose. I talk all the time about choosing our hard. This is the hard that I chose. Choosing not to would be hard as well because then I may not be happy with that decision, right? Saying no to food that you would love to eat is hard. It's hard to say no, but it's hard staying stuck where you are as well. It's hard living with guilt and shame because you were going to have a good day, but then as the day progressed, you threw in the towel and you ended up eating the food that you weren't planning to eat. That's hard as well. We choose our hard. Everyone is faced with hard choices all day long and you have to decide which hard you're going to choose. If you are looking to make a lifestyle change as we're getting closer to the new year, we are, we are just days away from quarter four of 2023. I love to make quarterly goals. It served me well, I've done this for years. Maybe quarter four of 2023 can be your momentum month to build strength because it really requires the strength up here to push through. It's learning to detach what's happening outside of you that could prevent you from getting done what it is you desire. It's detaching that. You could be struggling in one area and still go out for a five mile run or walk. You have the power to do that. You can step into your power anytime you'd like. Maybe quarter four is your month to build momentum so that you can be prepared for the new year and go fully in. Start getting your feet wet. Start getting your feet wet today. If you want to be part of a community that is on the same path, 
that is looking to live a life, a satisfying and fulfilling life with healthy habits so that you can have quality in your life and longevity and live optimally how you see it. Join me for quarter four, three week intense. This is a wonderful program. It's 21 days of habit formation where we instill new habits, we break old habits, you learn the art of incorporating the, the big three, physical activity, cardio, and strength training. You learn the art of healthy eating or eating in a way to achieve weight loss if that's your goal. This is for everyone, every season, every stage. It's a wonderful program. There's a Facebook group page that all the members participate in, and I do daily coaching just like this, like what you're seeing here. I'm out walking, <laughs> and I'm creating a video to put on that page. You get daily coaching from me, and it's a great support system with a bunch of women, and sometimes men join, that are on the same path, that want the same thing. What you'll find is everyone there has daily struggles they have to overcome as well. But we push and encourage and motivate one another to get the job done. Choose your heart. Being stuck where you are today is hard. Those of us that get the job done, we don't have it easy. We are not over here living the easy life. We're the ones choosing our heart. We're the ones out here making it happen. We're the ones getting up and getting it done in the morning, leaving our warm, cozy bed to get the job done. We're the ones choosing our hard. You viewing those of us that get it done as we've got it easy and we have nothing holding us back, you're wrong. And one of the very first steps in overcoming that obstacle is to quit telling yourself that lie because that's what it is. All right, links to everything will be in the description box below. You can join quarter four, three week intense. Um, it ends just before Thanksgiving, so I believe it starts November 1st and it ends, I think the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, something like that. So it's perfect timing going into the holiday season. It's a perfect time to build momentum so that when the new year comes, you are ready. You're ready for a life change. You're ready to step into a healthier lifestyle, one that serves you. Thanks for being here and check the links out in the description box below and I'll see you here soon on YouTube. Don't forget to be following me on Instagram stories where I continue to share content and messages just like I'm sharing here today almost daily. All right, have a good one.